Should we go find some sheds, Hunter? Yeah. Hey. We gonna find some sheds? Yeah. You want to find a shed? Yeah. Are you going to find one? Uh -huh. Let's see if we can find some. Okay. I saw a lot of deer out here late season. Yep. Yep. Let's see if we can find a big buck. A big buck. Oh yeah, big buck. Yep. You going to find one? Yep. Alright. Let's see what we can do. I really don't even hold any daytime bedding, so to speak, on this farm. It's just it's just a big cornfield, basically, with CRP all around it. And all the bedding is off to the west in the big timber. So I get a lot of food out here. Uh, and with the CRP, I'll get some nighttime bedding. A lot of my pictures I get are at night or early in the morning. So kind of just hoping that... kind of just hoping that uh, we stumble across something that was kind of taking a snooze during the night and feeding out here in these fields or transitioning to and from so it's kind of the game plan pretty simple really hit the main travel routes and pinch points and waterways and on to the next so so far we haven't turned up anything I'll we'll just keep walking Well, I hopped off in a little narrow section of timber that I've found some sheds in in the past. Walked it once earlier this year where I was running some cameras and I found one side to one buck. So there's I think six other bucks that I had on camera quite regularly. See if I can find them. Like I said, it's just a big timber hillside between a bedding area and a feeding source. So I'm just going to walk through here and see what I can find. I'm looking for one deer specifically, but he's a ghost. So hopes aren't real high for him. Well, just getting back to the truck. Got to get the kids home. No luck today. We'll catch you on the next video. Well, headed into a new farm. <clears throat> new. It was new to new to us this year. Got permission late. There's a lot of good bucks on it. Uh, during the late season, I walked it one time, and I found one little tiny scrub antler. But I was watching it a lot from the road with my binoculars and spotting scope and there was probably seven or eight different bucks in this farm so i think with me coming in a little bit early and only finding the one antler and then seeing them more with my binoculars i was just too early so i gave it about a, another three weeks or so all the snow's off and uh, i think it's a good time to get back in here so it's a big bean field with some CRP and timber around it. I had the destination food source and the bedding, so hopefully I can stumble across something. I guess we'll see. Well, we're probably two and a half, three miles in, and I just spotted my first shed. Boy, is it a dandy. Oh, that's funny. This little tiger. Sadly, this farm was full of these little ones. I saw a bunch of them running around, but... I guess we didn't get skunked, but... There's a couple out here that really are dandies, so. 
guess we'll just keep moving. Finally in the right area. Hopefully where there's one, there's many. Put this one in the pocket. Well, I'm at just over six miles and I have one shed. This is incredible. I've never seen this good of late season deer sign ever and just been so unsuccessful. I mean, I'm walking main trails, south facing slopes, cedar thickets, bedding areas, warm season grasses. I just, I just can't find a shed. Driving me nuts. But part of the game, I guess. Can't win them all. I just, the amount of deer that I saw here late season and the amount of sign and everything that's here, I thought for sure I could pick them out. I was able to walk all of the bedding, all of the food, and all of the transition. We had a really mild winter in Iowa, and the only thing I can think of is maybe they just maybe they just started moving on i have no idea well on the board again with another freshie not a very big one but at least it's an antler i actually met up with my buddy logan <clears throat> We've been walking one of my farms and we came into this really thick bedding area. I had actually found a big deadhead on this farm earlier this spring and I again stayed out, but uh, we decided to come back in here real quick and uh, pound a bedding area that we haven't touched yet. been off a while. Must have shed early. Another small one. Got a cool little brow tine going on though. Or as little as he is. So, not chewed on, which is surprising. So, we've been doing an awful lot of walking and not finding much, so maybe we finally found a good bedding area. Hopefully where there's one, there's more. See, look at me being an idiot. I already dropped my shed. I I gotta go find it again. An idiot. There it is. Train in my eyes. I just got the camera turned on, just popped out of this bedding area right here, this thick timber, and we started combing all this mowed CRP. As you can see out there, it's all mowed. There's one little strip right there. But these deer were feeding out here late season, and Logan just hollered at me. He was bringing up the the edge and he just found one in this mode CRP oh yeah 
old one. Sweet, dude. Oh, that's been there a while. Mower would have gotten if it was tines up. Yeah. It's been a slow day. Two dinks total for me. Logan just found that old one. And what'd you find? Did you find one more? Another old one. Yeah, Logan found another old one earlier today before we met up, so. We're gonna call it a day. Head back to the truck, go get some food, so. I'll catch you guys on the next one.